this one is uh oh sorry one second uh what's up guys and welcome back to danny plays it's another inktober video day number 11 today's topic was sour and uh now to what i was saying i may have accidentally created an evil sour patch kid i i think i've created a demonic sour patch kid and uh i mean it's halloween so i guess that's fine but uh yeah this thing's kind of horrifying it's uh I, I tried it was really simple i was done like really quick so i thought hey i'll play with my shadows a bit and uh i'd given it a weapon because i had planned to give it like candy armor i didn't know what kind of candy to make the armor out of so I didn't end up doing that, but I gave it a spear made from a lollipop that I had been like bitten into, which is uh, what I'm doing right now. And uh, I, yeah, um, I, I created a possessed, evil, terrifying, creepy, sour patch kid. I, I didn't know these things could be creepy. I originally planned to make like a little army of them. And you know, I still kind of think I should have done that. I mean, can you imagine an army of these things? Oh my gosh, that'd be terrifying. Maybe I should. Maybe I should add like some just getting smaller behind them to give the illusion that there's a ton of them. And I actually go in and change the mouth later because that's not really what Sour Patch Kid mouths look like. Um, but I made this little Sour Patch Kid, and, I mean, there's not much to say, Sour Patch Kids are pretty simple in design, but my original idea was to make kind of like a warrior Sour Patch Kid, like to make a, ooh, I should have given him an eye patch. I'm having all these ideas after I finished a drawing. I, I could have... Oh, I should have given him an eye patch. But uh, I my idea originally was to give him a I, a lollipop. Have the lollipop be like half eaten, which has like sharpened it. Like someone made a shank out of their lollipop for some reason. And uh, so I yeah I did that. And um, I originally wanted to give him armor, like I said. Now. Granted, I didn't know what kind of candy could be used for armor, so I didn't end up doing that. I'm thinking maybe I could have done like something like Hershey's and done the plates, like the individual pieces, kind of sewn together as armor. And my idea for this actually came from an old tower defense game I played years ago, and it was called like Candy Defense. And there were Sour Patch Kids with armor and I remembered them having candy weapons and stuff so I looked it up but it turns out their weapons were made from like their sh they had like bottle cap shields and like their swords were actually just like nails and stuff so turned out they didn't actually have candy stuff so I didn't know what to do and I didn't want to just give them a nice helmet because that seemed a bit odd although now that I think about it Drawing a giant Sour Patch Kid holding a sharpened lollipop is already pretty odd. I kind of think it's hilarious how it ends up. And I can explain why I did the shading where I did it. Like, okay, so I added a little glare coming off the lollipop to try and make it look shiny. So I imagine that's where the light's coming from, but I'm not good at lighting, so instead I decided to do where obvious shadows would be. The reason I'm doing a shadow where it is now is because his arm is there, and since his arm is moved across his body, it's blocking the light, so... So that's where the shadow would be. Now, he's holding a weapon, so obviously the shadow is going to be underneath the weapon. Now, this technically makes sense if the light's coming from above, and I'm realizing that this lighting doesn't make the most sense. Like, in between his legs, the reason I'm doing shadow there is because it's underneath his body, so it's blocked by the light. And this is excessive shadowing, because this is definitely not where the shadow should be, 
but for whatever reason, I thought they should. I do it under his neck, because that's where his head is, obviously. Now, this is where it starts getting to look a bit demonic or possessed. I do shadows under the mouth, because on Sour Patch Kids, there's actually a small overhang on the mouth and eyes. So, technically, there would be shadows there. And I actually, I guess this would be if they were... Yeah, this is... If it was lit from directly above, this is what it would look like. Huh. Um. Well, it shouldn't be lit directly above. But it is. Um. Anyway, I then give it, like, a little juice drop, like, b com coming off of the spear. Now, I make this thing massive, just kind of for comedic purposes, but, uh. I imagine, like, you know those gushers, those candies that are full of juice? I imagine he's just stabbed one of those. So I give it this giant juice drop. And, uh, I don't have much to say for this. I added dots to kind of be like the speckles of sour candy. And since it was still simple, I decided to give it just a tiny background. Not really. I thought about making the sun like a lemon drop, but... I did uh, some gumdrops, and I covered them in the sour dots, and then underneath of the ground, I did those, like, airhead, uh, not ropes, those kind of, I guess ropes works, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call them, but the, they're those flat lines that are, like, uh, rainbow colored, or they can be different colors, I think, but... Usually they're rainbow, and, uh, they're sour. Ooh, I should've done some, like, sour straw plants. That would've been great. But, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this episode. So, if you enjoyed watching me draw a, uh, slightly demonic Sour Patch Kid, and want to see more weird drawings like this in the future, remember to like and subscribe. And, uh, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it, it'd benefit the channel. And, uh, if we get to 100 subs, I, I have a surprise or an idea. And I, I think, I think it's a good one. So, your support is always great. Now, this is actually my second video today because I posted episode episode 10 a little late so episode 11 is coming out on day 11 but episode 10 also came out today so if you like this video you could also go check that one out maybe but uh since i'm running out of time and this thing looks good i'll see you guys next time bye